Welcome to Cancun, Mexico. I am so excited to be here as a part of the Taste of Charisma Summit. So I'm going to be doing another photography hacks video here in Mexico for you guys. So I hope you're excited. So let's get started. Don't you guys feel like you're in paradise right now? I think it's a common misconception that when you come to a tropical location, all of your photos have to end up looking very sexy or revealing. Well, I don't think so. I think a one-piece swimsuit can definitely be your best friend. So I'm wearing this one from Mod Cloth and I love the embroidered detail. I think it's still really fun and flirty without being like way too revealing. the El Dorado Casita Royale and I'm going to show you a few of my favorite poses in front of this really cute little cabana hut so let's go like flesh tone or nude or light color swimsuit I feel like I look naked naked <laughs> I know not every girl feels comfortable rocking a two-piece swimsuit at the beach. Your best friend is a swimsuit cover-up. This one is just a light and simple scarf. I really love it because of the colors, design, and the pom-pom details. to traveling alone is finding someone to take pictures for you and sometimes you just can't trust strangers to take great photos so you can also bring along with you a tripod something like this these are so affordable they're less than $20 I'll link a few of my favorites down below Like I mentioned earlier, I was in Mexico for a summit and I made a few new friends, Alexis, Samantha, and Teresa. We ended up hanging out by the pool, grabbing drinks, and then ended up at the beach. It was my first time in an all-inclusive resort, so I thought, why not show off the drinks and the food? So the key to a cohesive group photo is having everyone do a similar pose with the same prop. Instagram asks, how do I find the perfect place to take pictures? Well, I was lucky to be in Mexico for Mexican Independence Day, so I packed a few statement dresses. When I travel, I try to find locations that complement my outfit, not compete. I love the tiles in this bar, but I found that it was too busy, whereas the rooftop really enhanced my look. Wearing light shoes 
highlight of my Mexico trip was taking a camel tour on the beach. It was my first time riding a camel and we even had the chance to feed them. I made sure to wear all white because it was really hot that day and to capture the fast movement of the camels, I made sure to use burst mode on my phone. It was such a memorable experience that I would recommend to everyone. What's great about being in a tropical location is the fact that there are so many tropical fruits and beautiful fresh flowers around you to use as props in your photos. So I snagged this really delicious and fresh pineapple from the juice bar and I'm just gonna try a few poses with this. So it's day two here at El Dorado Resort and I wanted to show you how to take a cute photo of a bubble bath. So I have this gorgeous bath in my room right now and I thought why not take full advantage. I filled it in with some flower petals, I have some champagne, cheese and fruit is on the way. I got you Scott. We're going to hop on in and snap some photos. is the fact that there is so much humidity in the air. The camera just keeps fogging up and it's looking really blurry. Sometimes in our room it can be a little bit cold and outside it's humid so your camera can't adjust properly. Be sure to take it out, leave it outside for about like 20 minutes and you should be ready to go. Down, singing louder than the crowd. we were treated to a multi-course Mexican tasting menu at La Chic. It was voted the world's 50th best restaurant and it was definitely a once in a lifetime culinary experience for Scott and I. So if you're ever in the Playa del Carmen area, definitely stop in, make a reservation because this is something you should not miss. So much to Charisma Hotel for hosting us for the Taste of Charisma Summit. I had so much fun filming this photography hacks video and experiencing Mexico for the first time. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!